The shooting of Trayvon Martin prompted several demonstrations across the country and here in North Texas. Thousands rallied in the streets and on college campuses calling for Zimmerman's arrest. Our team coverage of the story continues with CBS 11's Jay Gormley. So Jay, what's the reaction been to today's developments? Well, Karen, an SMU student who participated in one of those rallies summed it up this way. She said justice postponed is better than justice denied. They rallied at UTA. They rallied at Paul Quinn College, and they rallied at SMU. Today's developments have, I think, brought a new hope to, to the movement of justice for Trayvon. Renetta Nance helped organize the SMU rally for Trayvon Martin. Despite her moral victory, the junior cautions against vigilante justice. George Zimmerman has been tried in the court of public opinion, but he hasn't been tried in our justice system. And I feel like a lot of the vigilante justice that people are kind of wishing upon him really isn't what our country stands for. Dallas City Councilman Dwayne Carraway says charges had to be filed in order, in his opinion, to right a terrible wrong. It was a matter of doing the right thing. Uh, I think the protests and the nationwide demonstrations kept the, the highlight and the emphasis on the need for further investigation. But critics may argue that prosecutors in Florida caved under the pressure of criticism. Former Dallas County Prosecutor Barry Sorrells disagrees. Sorrells points to the Duke Lacrosse investigation of 2006 when three players were falsely accused of rape. The district attorney in that case was disbarred after allegedly disregarding evidence that proved the charges were false. Sorrells believes Florida prosecutors were determined not to make the same mistake. Uh, the lessons are is that you don't rush to judgment. You do a thorough and independent investigation. And that's why they've devoted this, you know, all these resources and all the, these uh, lawyers and investigators. And for the last three weeks, they've been working apparently nonstop to figure out exactly what the evidence is in this case. The question now is, is this enough for those who demanded justice? In other words, how will this play with the public if George Zimmerman is found not guilty? Reporting live in the newsroom, Jay Gormley, CBS 11 News. All right, Jay, thank you.